It is uh, exactly 6-12 for Veterans Day. We are at the oldest VFW post in the state of Texas. Post 76 will be 100 years old this coming June. It's just north of downtown on 10th and Broadway. KSAT 12's Josh Skernick is live there. And Josh, there are a lot of memories. Good morning. We're actually here at the Mendoza Memorial Room in the post, and I can tell you there are pictures surrounding the walls here of members who were members here and those who were never able to come home and join. One of these is Sergeant Matthew E. Mendoza. He actually died in Afghanistan in 2008, and the pictures here, they tell the story of his life, and it doesn't end right here. If we go over we have all of these photos of service members who served in Vietnam. They also were never able to come home getting killed in action. These are the kinds of thoughts and memories that are going through the minds of the VFW members here. And this morning, they actually shared some of their thoughts for this Veterans Day. Take a listen. Just an absolute great feeling when the brotherhood comes together, the camaraderie um, throughout all the generations World War II all the way up until now. Um, the people, when you, when you get down to sit down and really talk with them, you understand what it's like from another generation's point of view. But the brotherhood, it doesn't matter. It encompasses all. Something that a lot of the American people don't get to see. I served overseas in Korea, and I also uh, went to Germany, Alaska, and Hawaii. And uh, what uh, Veterans Day means to me is uh, an, a, a day to honor all veterans, but more specifically to honor those victims, veterans, that did not return. Uh, as an example, uh, those soldiers, those veterans that were killed in action, uh, the POWs, and the missing in action. That's what Veterans Day means to me. It's a blessing to uh, just be alive, to be here, and to uh, be able to celebrate with uh, fellow veterans. Uh, not just today, but every single day. And uh, to go out to the community and to um, give back to the uh, community themselves uh, and to the veteran. Um, I think it's important for all of us to remember that uh, freedom is not free. To those three, the bottom line, it's about honoring those who served and were not able to come back home. But this Veterans Day, obviously, it's about the people who are still around. Now, we just heard from Tony, and he was telling me about this picture right here. Turns out that this is in Iraq, and he actually snapped it when he was serving. He then came uh, a while later to the VFW post, walked in. He had no idea that it had gotten out into the public. Someone had printed it out, put it up on the wall. Turns out that those seven helmets there are seven of his brothers who died serving in that war. He tells me when he walked in, remember, he had no idea it was going to be there. The emotions ranged from hurt all the way to joy. These are the kinds of stories that the VFW members, at least at this post, and most likely all around the world, are feeling today for this Veterans Day. So keep that in mind. Now, as for a memorial or even a celebration uh, today, they have a ceremony at 5 p.m. They're going to have a wreath laying, a memorial brick placing. They're inviting the public to come on out. Anyone can come, and they want you to come and support what they're doing. There's free food and also a lot of stories. So please support these guys. Reporting live at VFW Post 76, Josh Gernick, KSAT 12 News.